So this will be an extension on the uh, video I already did of building this tenon jig for my table saw. So you'll want to watch that first. But anyway, if uh, the one of the issues I had when I built this, or one of the things I still was going to do, is I wanted to add some sort of clamping mechanism to hold the workpiece in place. So when I when I did the the original one, I basically uh, had this, and I just used just a clamp, and I just clamped it down. Um, which does work and it, it's it's fine it's just that I'd like to have something that's more permanently installed on the on the jig itself so I don't have to go searching for my clamps all the time um, plus the fact that when you're using this you have an issue because you reach right you can only reach a certain location so if I had a shorter piece I'd be out of luck this wouldn't work for that I'd, I'd have to come up with a different way of doing it I could you know I could come up with some way of, of putting a block in there and then do it but really, what I really want to do is make it so I can just have everything contained on the jig itself. So, um, originally, what I planned to do is I was going. To, and this is just a simple toggle clamp. This is a really small one, which I had it laying around, but it's nowhere near big enough for, for this for this kind of uh, of a jig. Uh, but my idea was I was going to purchase one of these, a larger version of it, and put it on here. But after I went out and started looking, the, the price of them is, is pretty. They're pretty expensive, so I wanted to stay away from that if I could. Um, so I started looking for other solutions, and one thing I came up with was I already had some of these hold downs sitting around that I, they weren't use, I didn't have any use for, or I wasn't currently using. So I'm thinking if I could use something like this, that would be that would be pretty slick. So, and actually, after I start thinking about it, this might even be a, a better solution, more versatile solution. So the issue is when you're doing this, you're going to have different size materials. Right? You're going to have this is just a, a piece of three quarter inch, you know, a certain height. Well, what if you have a just a small piece like this for some reason you're working with. You gotta be able, I'd like to be able to hold that down. Um, you know, if you have something that, um, here's a piece of a one by a one by six, so now you have something like that. So you got, where do I put this guy? Because if I, if I locate him, if I just hard locate him in one spot, then either I can't reach far enough or whatever. So, um, and then there's, there's also extremes. Now this is a, if I had a one by eight, you know, now I'm kind of in trouble because I'm almost at the end. So my my take on that is I'm probably never going to do that. Um, if I did, I would just, you know, in those rare occasions, you know, I'll come up and clamp it with something like this. So the idea is to make make the jig work at 99% of, the, of my uh, tasks. So, so what I'm going to plan on doing is I'm just going to route. So basically, I'm going to route a slot through here at, the, at a specific height. And a specific width, and then, then then I can move this guy in and out, and it's it's got its own adjustment on, so it can adjust for different thickness materials. Plus, the other part is it, it actually has a little bit of reach on it. So my idea is I'm going to route it. I'm going to make it so I can actually reach to this bottom low part. So if I am doing a piece like this, I would actually be able to reach down and, and have him hold on to him. So um, I think that'll be a, a, a pretty pretty slick idea. Again, fairly inexpensive. I already got the parts around, so um, I'm going to give it a go, and we'll we'll see how it turns okay, out. Okay, so I'm I'm setting up my router. I've I've got this all set up with the right spacing. So I put a couple stops in here. So the way I'm going to I'm going to route this. I'm going to route from basically an inch in, and then I'm going over about four inches from there. So I've set a couple stops. One is my start, and one will be my end. So basically, when I route this through, I'll start here. I'm going to, I'm just going to plunge it on. I'm going to just do some light stuff so I have this set so I'll do multiple passes. I'm just going to plunge it in, draw it through to the stop, lift it up, lift the height of the, the bit up, and just continue on until I get all the way through. So, um, that's it. Okay, oh, I gotta cut a piece of half inch UHMW. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. I gotta stop up here, about five eighths of an inch thick or wide.
Okay, so here's what you get when you don't think ahead too far. So unfortunately, um, one of the issues I have when I do that is it's very difficult to, to hold the workpiece in place, turn the knob, and then also hold the back of the, of the bolt because it wants to turn through. So what I'm going to do, I've got some UHMW that I cut, um, so 5 8 inch strips, and I'm going to use that to capture the bolt. Now if I would have done this ahead of time, what I would have done, I would have put a a, uh, just put a, a channel in here that just a shallow channel to capture the bolt head so that it wouldn't just keep turning through so since um, I didn't think of this till the end this is what I get so and I can't I can't do it because I got this glue this glued in or else I'd take it apart and do it so this is my solution as good as it might be I don't know but it is what it is so so the idea is I want this to sit just at the right spacing that captured this guy. So I'm going to use the bolts actually to make sure I get the spacing right. Okay, so I've, I've added the clamp onto it. Um, it looks like a pretty good solution. So basically, I can use it for multiple size materials. So on this, typically, you're going to do one side, you're going to drop it back in, hold it up against there, give it a nice clamp, she's in place, run through, do your other side. And then if you're going to change material, so it might go to, say, a thinner material like the original one. So now you're just basically going to slide it over. Put it down anywhere. I mean, you can clamp where you need to clamp it, which is kind of nice. So you can, if you have a short piece, you can just adjust it. So once you have it in there, again, it's clamped in. It's it's solid. You can run it. Repeat the same thing. You can loosen it up, flip it. Well, actually, flip it this way, I guess. Put it in. Give it another go. So there you have it. Um, so that's this is the. The cleats I added in, the, the, the half inch UHMW, um, which is kind of nice because the UHMW is actually a very slippery material and it, it almost acts like a bearing in there, so it makes it move a little easier. So.